welcome to the Mr. Brown Show once again. This is Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. Hi, welcome to the Mr. Brown Show. Today we talk cock. Seriously? <laughs> we are paid to talk cock now. Finally, after all this hard work, we finally talk cock for real. This episode of the Mr. Brown Show is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms. Okamoto condoms are exclusively made of Shialon, an advanced material so strong and durable it can be made much thinner than ordinary latex condoms. Solid. I like thin. Thin is good. It's so strong they use it in a space shuttle. They did? Mm. Really? No lah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of the space shuttle will require like <laughs> super strong thin Shialon? Say. Oh, to protect the wings from burning up on re-entry, we use this particular material that's also used on condoms. There was a pun there, re-entry. Oh, why wow, so we Tito? No lah, you say one what? <laughs> yeah, but you, you caught the pun. I didn't catch the fun. You were the one with the dirty mind. Let me read the other one. This podcast is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms. Now available at all major retailers like 7-Eleven, Watson's, Cheers, Guardian, Fair Price, Cold Storage, Giant, Kafu, Shop and Safe, and NHG Pharmacies. You're really going to read them all out? Might as well. Like, it sounds so silly. It has to be read out. No, like, why? I thought we agreed not to read them all out. 7-Eleven and Watson's. Thank you. Like, wow, wow. Why don't you just list all the retailers in Singapore? Lah? It's like <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just list the retailers where they are not available at? You know, your corner mama store at the Ju Tian Lane and the Everett Road corner. Don't have. Don't have. So don't go there. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, can you play back? When is best time to wear condom? Um, Three times daily, morning, afternoon, and evening. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving away the punchline, you moron. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Are we test. recording now? Yeah, I am. I'm just oh. recording. Just, I'll just yeah, blip. If I don't think it's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just delete it. So, anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, Have a pause, then say, Hi, this is the Mr. Brown Show. I'm Mr. Brown and <laughs> this Stone is really. Stone. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Let's try. Hi, this is, this is the Mr. Brown show and I'm Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. We're hello back. everybody. Wait, I must say my hello everybody first. Oh, okay. Hello everybody. Oh man, it's like we have to give you your hello everybody. Right? Yes. It's like trademark. Yes. Uh we're very excited to be uh on the show because it's ours and <laughs> Because this is our first sponsored show. <laughs> Thank you for having us on our show. show yeah. Thanks, Ben. Wow, wow. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, you're Thanks, welcome. Thanks, Yeah. Um, it's exciting because uh, we have a contest for the show as well as a sponsor. Uh, kindly sponsored by this whole month is uh, sponsored by Okamoto Condoms. Yeah. No joke. Okay. No joke. No, we're not. No, we're not we're kidding. Not kidding. For real. For real. And that's why you heard all those messages now. And uh, we even had a. Contest set up So that you can win cash prizes If you are Interested in winning cash prizes uh, Go to w- Condom w- No wait wait Wait, wait what? Huh? Oh www Condomcontest.com hmm. Cool right? Remember how to spell it properly uh? W Dot Condomcontest.com hmm. Don't it, Don't spell fun- funky Like with a K or anything Just C Yeah C. It's not those teenagers Spelling with the condoms No Z <laughs> No Z <laughs> Condomcontest.com Yeah, you go there, cannot find the web page, and then you sends. <laughs> sends. <laughs> you went to download where's and get cereals, <laughs> then you go to the condom contest. <laughs> uh, of course, um, if you are a minor, uh, kindly leave the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, we're still here. Go away. Show I see. Mm. My show I see. Mouse, mouse, mouse. <laughs> Anyway, um, we have been reading the papers and yeah, we found out that young people's um, today's newspaper say yes, what? Yes, they had an expose. They actually did a follow up story to you know after the the the, the video incident. Yeah, the NYP mm. video incident. The Tammy Nip, Nip, yes. Uh, they decided that it was time to do a timely article on uh, what do teens do. At night mm. So like In the US CBS4 covered Cops who were like Intimidating people Trying to uh, File a report a Yeah, logical complaint But Singapore 
the the topic the of choice times? was yeah. Teenagers, what teens what teens get up to do at night so the the, the headline I think uh, mm. if I remember correctly because I left the newspaper in the car very silly um, was what teens what are they doing up so late that was the headline really ah what are they doing up so late insomnia <laughs> doing too much coffee and then Coke. below the headline what do you call the line below the headline the sub headline the small headline. Yeah, in case you're wondering what's all this noise about, um, this is our studio audience. And pe- somebody just went to the toilet. toilet. If you listen very carefully, you might hear some funny noises. Yeah, people laughing. No, I mean laughing because they're playing games, not because they're in the toilet. toilet. But the toilet got different sounds. Yeah, there's a bunch of them playing LAN games in where we are recording, so uh, excuse the random noise. We thought it added atmosphere to the recording, so you know we left it as it is. Mm. Yeah, if not, it'd be like... You know, it will seem as though we are recording in a studio with no fun. That's right. Anyway, yeah. back to the topic. You know, we're talking about that. Yeah, what's below the headline? The sub headline. The sub headline. The headline was. What? Sip is tall. Sip is tall. Somebody just came out of the toilet. <laughs> <coughs> okay, back to the uh, topic of what teens do late at night. What are they doing up so late? Sub headline was having fun. Right. 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 Making a din. Wow. That How do you make a din? Uh? Uh, popian skin, mm-hmm. some diced cucumber. <laughs> Bangkwan. Bangkwan. Bangkwan mm. is important. Must put some chili. Eh? Yes. Mm. yes. It's the nonya din. So it's just raw, or do you have to steam it or fry it? You deep fry it. Deep fry it? Uh? Yes, it's a very special dish. Mm. It's called a din. Okay. <laughs> making a din. Teens making a din. It rhymes. Teens making a din. They so are the din teens. Mm. Ah. On Makan Sutra. Ah. How so they, they're guilty of noise and having fun. Yeah. No. Or, look, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, if you, if you went on an uh, investigative kind of report and you kind of look for, you know, you're looking for dirt. Mm. You're looking for the truth. Mm. Then you find that basically the kids are just having fun and making a din. If I were them, I'd not report it. We found nothing. Yeah, apparently the straight science reporters actually asked the police, hey, have you actually apprehended any of the... Youths, youths who hang around in that's such a great word. And youths and the police said no, they, they haven't actually said as they are empowered to do so to send letters to the parents of the teenagers. Maybe all the teenagers went home there. They read the papers. They know the cops are around at eleven. Let's go. One now reporter Oh, mata reporter So, so maybe all went home. You think yeah. they're stupid? They got mm. handphone one, no? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, call Benson, call Tsui. <laughs> Benson, your turn. No, but uh, what, so what's the campaign now? The campaign is to keep them at home, is it? I don't know. Keep teens at home. You know what's the problem now? It's because uh, mm. TV, nothing to watch. It's true. Mm. And because their computers are at home, downloading BitTorrents, and mm. they can't really play games, mm. right? They're downloading stuff, uh, clean stuff, I'm sure. Mm. And their computers cannot be used for playing land games because it's too slow. Mm. So they come out, lor. But then, okay lah, so it's up to us to entertain them, uh, correct? Uh? <laughs> I think maybe the campaign is to ensure that teens don't have fun. Yeah, so, okay, about that? three months down the road after this clean up a campaign to make sure that, you know, they, they change the behavior of teenagers, mm. and the, the Straits Times goes down to the scene of this uh, hotbed of teenage activity again. Ooh. Yeah, I like that word hotbed. Oh, hotbed. Hotbed. I've always wanted to use that yeah. in my speech. Feel it, hotbed. Hotbed. <laughs> A hot bit of activity. Yeah. So what will they find in three months' time if it's a successful campaign? Old men playing chess. <laughs> While teenagers not having fun. Yeah, all right, Rather depressed. The not having fun teens campaign. <laughs> Hi, my name is Johnny. Last time I used to be a very fun-loving teen and I stay up till 11pm at night having mm. fun. Now Ab- I'm just sians. <laughs> But ever since I received help from the teen not having fun hotline, <laughs> I just sense. <laughs> not only Japan, not just half, but full sien. <laughs> so my friends and I just hang out at uh, 7 Eleven and just sense. Oh? Sometimes we drink the slurpee, but we don't smile, we don't laugh. Sien long enough, we go home. That's right. Which is the point of the campaign, because uh, they want you to go home, because it's too late for you to be out. When I was a teen, I slept at 10 p.m. Did you? Yeah. Damn sad, leh. Yeah. Why? Quite. Why? Mm, my mother say I should sleep early. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then later on, you know, I discovered the joy of staying up and playing games all night until six, and I was a very happy thirty year old. <laughs> and now my wife is the one nagging, you know, my mom. <laughs> and also, speaking of banning children, and banning kids out, being an, out at night and having fun, uh, poppy seeds. I found out. Mm, yeah, band. actually, yeah. You were looking out. for poppy uh, seed, poppy seed buns, buns, right? Not because you were trying to grow opium. No la, I want to eat the bun la. correct? Jam pao la. poppy seed pao. Poppy seed. So we went to bakery and then right. we asked for a poppy seed bun. They said the the baker like, hey, no, cannot sell poppy there. <laughs> why did why did he have to like, go suddenly go like soft? Because it's contraband, right? If somebody asks over the counter, it's Kuang Ming Zhen Da Ma. It's not as if like, hey, uncle, you got poppy seed bun. La. <laughs> then it's the correct response, like. <laughs> Sell. You just like, how long ago you got puppy seat bun? Then his reply should be, oh, I'm sorry, we can't sell that to you now. <laughs> Why am I saying like, hey, cannot let, like, can't sell you now. Man. <laughs> Maybe he's a secret uh, consumer. This reminds me of the Sim Lim Square visit I went to buy a security camera for my company mm. last time. Mm. And uh, when I was there, uh, I was asking about the different wireless mm. you know, uh, security cameras, the small ones. And the guy was like, lowered his voice. I mean, don't worry, we here don't take IC one. <laughs> then he was proudly took out his best model and he said, this one, wireless, can put in bag. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for the camera for security reasons. Yeah, 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 security reasons. This one can film from back very clear. So it <laughs> Very dodgy, oh. <laughs> It's quiet. I'm, I'm like, uh, n- I'm not buying it for that purpose. Uh, obviously, they sell a lot for those purposes. Yeah. Recreational, uh, recreational, recreational purposes. purposes. Having fun. Purposes. Mm. But I think those videos, yeah, they also be it's kind of contraband. Uh. I think what, the poppy seed or are you talking about the camera? The, the camera, the camera. Oh, yeah, for sure. control. Why and then all export control? model. Every, yeah. All the dodgy ones are all export model. Next time I should go to the baker and then ask, uh, do you have export model bun? <laughs> Not for use in Singapore. We bake them and then we sell them <laughs> overseas. What uh, to go to eat? Ah, we can eat it. And the reason you found out that poppy seeds were banned is because apparently, if you consume poppy seeds mm. and if you uh, you asked, get high, <laughs> you know, apparently you need a, a lot of <laughs> eat a lot of the buns before you can get even close really, to yeah. being. High. You throw up before you even get high. Right? <laughs> you, you bloody explode. Explode bun. <laughs> Man dies from explosion from pow. <laughs> Death by pow. <laughs> pow abuse. <laughs> he eat the pow until he explode. <laughs> <laughs> Spokesman <laughs> from the cen- central narcotics pow. <laughs> yeah. the, the squad uh, in charge of busting people eating poppy seed pows to get high. <laughs> Woohoo! Pow squat The pow squat <laughs> You pull over Then the fella's mouth Very Don't arrest me I spit it out I spit it out It's only toss you It's so, my puppy It's the most unglamorous If it were a drug It'd be the most unglamorous <laughs> Way of getting high It's <laughs> pow You have to eat like 12 <laughs> To get even like you know, ten percent of the high of getting regular <laughs> opium. Very sad. <laughs> oh, don't kill your high. Then. This reminds me of the uh, Malaysian boys who were caught smelling cow dung to get high. Oh yeah, for sh- <laughs> that's for real. It was last year's news. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They, 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 they went Apparently, yeah, the the methane from the the cow dung right, gets them high. What a what a word. Yeah, methane from the cow dung. So they go around it. Mm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Hey, this is very smelly. Wow, eh. <laughs> so but high. Wow, eh. <laughs> steam. <laughs> you know, it's just bad, lah. You know, when you're desperate enough to start sniffing cow dung to get high, you have an abuse problem. You, 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 you no, need that, help. That, r- that is really abuse. Okay? okay, but what about the cows? If if cows, the you know, they poo. Mm. Then they walk around the field. Mm. Then another cow comes along and mm. smells the methane from an, the friend cow's cow dung. Mm. Does the cow get high? What do you think they move so slowly? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> cows were high. <laughs> it's like true. Uh. Marble already. Yeah. We are slow because <laughs> we are high. But apparently, apparently, uh, some readers have actually commented on my blog that um, they banned poppy seeds because. Uh, back um, to poppy seeds. 
like the poppy seeds. They ban poppy seeds because if you take a drug test, lah, if you right. so asked to take a drug test, you right. would fail if you had a poppy seed bun. Oh. So I think the rationale is they don't want any uh, poppy abusers <laughs> to come out with the excuse that they you know they, they weren't taking drugs, they were just having lunch or breakfast. I, I once knew a friend whose daughter was named Poppy. Hmm. Really, it was her, her, her Christian name was her English name was Poppy. What's her surname? Po. <laughs> no, it's not Chinese. It's like Amola. Poppy, Poppy Po. po. <laughs> Poppy. So every time go like custom or can I search? <laughs> <laughs> really, that's my name. And this is my other daughter, heroin. <laughs> and my son, Coke. It's like <laughs> very sad, lor. But it's a nice name. Poppy is a very nice name. If it weren't for the association, there's an Australian. Um, Entrepreneur by the name of Poppy King. And really, she started this whole line of uh, uh, cosmetics, right? Cosmetics. Yeah. Really. Yeah, Poppy King. Oh, is this a name, like It's not as if like the cosmetics are like. No, sp- no, no. Like, kind of you, know, you get high putting on a lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smear across the face. <laughs> high shadow that makes you feel good. Of it? course, we at this point we need to stop and say, drugs are bad for you. We're just kidding around, so. Um, yeah, all you teenagers, huh? Don't go around smell cow dung, okay? <laughs> and don't have fun. Ah. Or make a din. Make a din. No good. No good. It's, yeah. it, in fact, don't stay up late. Don't, don't stay up late at all. You stay up late when you get in bad habits. You, you do a lot of stupid things. That's right. At, at some point in your life, you know, when you are, when you are crossing the 11 p.m. mark, you, you will become mm. evil. Yeah, that's the point of no return. Correct. Mm. So make sure you get to bed by 11 mm. and everything be alright. Mm. If you're up past 11, make sure you're studying. Yeah. That's can what good kids imagine do. It's like the, the good kid who doesn't want to turn bad and after he has too much coffee, they ah, I'm going to turn bad. Help. Okay. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Mommy, it's not my fault. It's 11.35. You boys and girls, now the days you sleep so late. That's why you shoot the video. <laughs> yeah, it's back to the video thing. I, 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 we can't get away from it because nobody wants to let go. I know, it's terrible. But uh, let us tell you again on the Mr. Brown Show that uh, even though we know that there are other links to other files and everything, we will not publish the URLs of those files. It's bad for you. It's bad. Mm. It's not good. That's correct. Mm. Not, only, not only that it's illegal. Actually, no. I think uh, there's there's one thing you could do for what? the good of society. For I mean, I'm talking to the our listeners. Huh? If you oh. do find the links and everything, right? If you want to watch it, okay, okay it's your own preference. Lah, but help the poor girl. Go to, if you see it on YouTube, flag it as porn and get people to take it off. Huh? Do your part. Ask people to take it off? Mm. The clothes? No, no. The, oh, the video. Sorry, for a moment I was like, go and ask people to take it off. <laughs> Why? Don't do that. Don't teach young people to do that. Oh, take the video <coughs> take off. Take the video off. Ah, okay. Complain. Nah. Complain. Which is what Singaporeans are good at. Yeah, since, since Singaporeans are very good at complaining. It's, it's a gift. We should actually use our talent. Use our good. talent and go and complain. Complain big time. Okay? Okay. And say it's pawn. All right. Okay, now at this point in time, we need to pause and we bring you a segment which we've come up uh, with that will be, uh, we will be doing uh, for, the, for this month's show mm-hmm. and it's called Condom Questions. Condom Questions. And okay. now it's time for Condom Questions. What's the jingle? Got the jingle, man? <laughs> Condom Questions. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> questions about condoms you've always wanted to ask. <laughs> okay, these but questions didn't dare to ask. Are real? Apparently, real questions. Real, real these are real life questions, life questions yeah, yeah, from yeah. real life people, mm. and um, uh, we want to read some of them to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to start question one? No, you start. Uh. Okay, you, I will ask you. Yeah, you've always <coughs> had condom questions. Yeah, yeah condom questions. Okay, question one. Uh, some caller actually, you know, called up the company, called up Okomoto lah. Uh. Hello. <laughs> the question is Got edible condom Right Edible condom <laughs> Why would you want to eat Your condom? He said hello tea But it's like tea Please don't eat You eat already eh? It's chewy 
but it's <laughs> not good for your stomach. Oh, well, this chewing gum very good. Blow bubble. I know why because Singaporeans are ne- uh, deprived of chewing gum. <laughs> so he was looking for an alternative. <laughs> so he called up and asked, "Is that why? Well, now this chewing gum very oily. Well, now chew cannot chew finish." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what he was asking was uh, whether I think they want yeah they just want to ask that uh, um, whether there's any flavors. Oh, flavors! Flavors of condom, right? Which brings us to question two. Uh, okay, Hano, you got banana condom. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these are real life questions <laughs> asked by real life people. <laughs> Banana condom is the one where you have to pee you first. <laughs> you <laughs> yes, we have that model. Then you just stick the thing before you use instead of tearing the cover, you peel. Mm. <laughs> use only when it's yellow color. Black color, you throw away. <laughs> Green color is too early. <laughs> <laughs> yellow, right by the time, then you can use. Yeah. I think he was asking for banana <coughs> flavored. Banana flavored condoms. condoms. And yeah. again, that again. just blows my mind because, like, why would. Anyone who want to taste uh, And have You know Condoms that taste like something You Give blow job hey, Hello to Don't say such words Okay If you perform Certain Activities s- Activities That require you to put things in your mouth Maybe sometimes people have that preference lah, But you know But still Okay but can you So what happens if you use durian flavoured condoms? <laughs> Eee, darling, why you buy durian one? But I didn't buy durian. <laughs> <laughs> the banana flavor <laughs> chow sung. Go bad. Keep too long, spoil. <laughs> I think the flavor spoil already keep too long. I told you already, check the expiry date. Now smell like durian. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, if you bought the wrong flavor, uh. then you just turn the other party off. Like, you know, cherry's fine, you know, I, I suppose. Know. So bananas is quite fragrant, but. Hmm. Eee, darling! Wow, so cute. Where you buy the rambutan condom? It's not rambutan. It's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine they make the rambutan flavored one, and then they kind of made it look like rambutan. <laughs> It'd be red color with uh, like oh hair. Dear. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! No, 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 that's not the rambutan. That's my. Never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Are there any more condom questions? Um, question three. Okay. Yeah, every week we actually give you a, a set of questions actually during this series. We, we found them hilarious. From, yeah, we found them really hilarious. So we want to share it with you. Yeah. Think of it as our mm-hmm. public education part of our show. Yeah, question three. Three. Hello. Uh, when is best time to wear condom? Um, yes. Um, b- maybe right before you have. Uh, relations <laughs> like One time in the morning One time in the afternoon And one time at night Then call me tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> If you wear in the morning Then you can Tahan till at night Then you'll be More protected <laughs> The longer you wear The more protected you are it's like At 12.45pm It's best time to wear the condom We have found from research And scientific uh, experiments That the 12.45 no longer than 12.46pm is the ideal time for condom wearing. Optimum time. Optimum. Scientists mm. have discovered <laughs> condoms. It works. Just one time. <laughs> just one time. <laughs> we can never run away from the just one time <laughs> joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, but of course, uh, <coughs> again, for the sake of our uh, listeners who do not know that there's no specific time to where you should just wear it when you need to. If you do really do not know when is the best time to wear a condom? Please email us. We will tell you because we can't really say these things on air at the moment. Yeah, we, we can't. So what will happen is uh, um, Mr. Miyagi will personally come to your house and demonstrate for you with a um, <laughs> demo item. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> they, used to, they used to teach um, uh, sex education and condoms. I heard in some village... Uh, in some villages And, and, and uh, I read this story somewhere Where this village uh, Had problems Controlling the population growth Right the kid, Their families were They were having Kid after kid after kid mm. So finally the officials Decided to do something about it And they sent down An expert to show them How How to, to use condoms To use condoms to and For child birth Correct uh, child, uh, A year birth control, birth control. Yeah. A year later mm. uh, They came back mm. And they found the population was still, still increasing. More, in fact. More babies. More babies. Yeah. And they asked the guys, like, what, 
you know what you guys how come? do why I've been teaching you guys we taught you how to con- you know use a condom and, and then you still have more children than before your village just grown bigger I said, it's like then the guy said, "Yeah, we we did exactly as you told us. We, before we had sex, we put the condom on the banana." <laughs> this is a true story. I was told it was a true story. <laughs> so, like, my next question is: they when they put ran out of bananas, bananas. <laughs> did they put the condom on the banana before they had, like, you know, when they you know, before they <laughs> had fun? <laughs> what did they do with the banana after that? They put it aside. <laughs> So like if it's over, what do they do? They took it <laughs> off, ah. and then eat off. You <laughs> can you imagine that. Okay, so there's a couple in the next, uh, but uh, uh, hut, uh-huh, hut. wanting to have relations, okay, relations. sexual relations, and then I say, oh no, did you buy the bananas? <laughs> oh, oh. No, I didn't bring. I forgot. Oh. Oh. That's it. <laughs> That's it. No sex for you tonight. No we can't do it. We can't. We can't. <laughs> we, we then go to his neighbor's hut. <laughs> hey, Bill. Uh, can I have a banana? Ah, you, huh? <laughs> you no la, no la. I just need to eat la. You know, constipated. <laughs> no la, really la. Eh, hey, ni nuts, nuts, wing, wing. Don't bluff la. Don't bluff la. I know what you want the banana for. <laughs> One way got enough. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take the whole bunch. <laughs> My garden a lot. <laughs> well, take the whole bunch. And then, of course, you know, you can pack your banana off for work in a nicer, con- convenient <laughs> lunch holder. <coughs> what to prove your bananas today? Mm. When it rains, your banana will still be safe. <laughs> Are we at the last question? Yeah, that's the We'll last be back for next week's uh, show with more condom questions. Yeah, don't forget there's a contest going on condomcontest.com. Uh, that's right. There's cash prizes to be won. Yeah, and uh, I think it, we've come to the end of this show. Thanks for, for hanging out with us Thanks and listening. Uh, listening to our silly condom jokes and us. We've talking got, cop. Yeah, uh, we've got a great uh, series of shows yeah, coming man. up. Uh, this whole month. Guests. Uh, when we can't Lined find up. a guest, then we will again entertain your good selves by ourselves. Mm. Oh, that's so formal. Mm. If we can't find guests, Ben will pretend to be somebody. Hello! <laughs> Mr. Miyagi will be like, um, that's why my name, I am an actor from this non existent theatre production <laughs> off Broadway. <laughs> my off name off Broadway. is uh, James. Thai. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me on my show. Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Nobody uh, will ever know. Yeah, actually, if we pretended to be people. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, tune in next uh, week for another episode of the Mr. Brown Show. And remember, this is our very first uh, sponsored show. Yeah, thank you very much. Okamoto, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, join us next week for the Mr. Brown Show. And this is Mr. Brown saying uh, bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. See and you soon. Yeah. This. Okay. You've been listening to the Mr. Brown Show with Mr. Brown and Miyagi. Mr. Brown and Miyagi. Is that the way you pronounce it? it. Mrs. Huh? Yeah. I'm Mrs. Brown now? (laughs) No, wait, hang on. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm balaking for you. Mm. Feel free to start. (laughs) Oh, okay. You've been listening to The Mr. Brown Show with Mr. Brown and Mr. Miyagi. This episode of The Mr. Brown Show is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms, now available at all major retailers. I've lost the line. Okay, I've got it. Okay, okay. Oh no. Yeah, That's why right. you cannot work on like live radio. I know, die man. You've been listening to The Mr. Brown Show with Mr. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> How can you say <coughs> Mr. Bro? You don't pluralize the Mr. Sians. <laughs> Sians mm. are you. You've been. <laughs> so should be in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've been listening to the Mr. Brown Show with Mr. Brown and Mr. Miyagi. This episode of the Mr. Brown Show is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms. Now available at all major retailers like 7 Eleven and Watson's. Full stop. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Read the full stop out. <laughs> That's just to remind me to stop there. Oh, and thanks for coming out of the toilet. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I must well read the rest. Cheers, Guardian, Fair Price, Cold Storage, Giant Kafu, Shopping Safe, and NHG Pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Hello and welcome to the Mr. Brown Show once again. This is Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Brown Show. We are back for the second episode of the March series. Hello, this is Mr. Miyagi. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. You must do your that one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, this time we are still sponsored by... Okamoto Condoms, the yep. number one selling condoms in Japan. Okamoto Condoms are exclusively made of shiolon, which gives the condom a silkier, more natural feel, much like skin itself. Yeah, skin. That's right. Yummy. And uh, <laughs> we believe in practicing safe podcasting on the Mr. Brown Show. For this uh, episode, we had um, the privilege of interviewing the uh, people involved in the local documentary, Singapore Gaga. Yeah, it's a great film. Great film. Go watch. Made with great heart. So go watch. And if you want details about the film, go to the URL singaporegaga.com. Yep, one word. Um, we had the privilege of interviewing uh, Tan Bin Bin, the director, Margaret Ling Tan, uh, the very talented pianist who, who appears in the movie, uh, as well as Chen Si, uh, the publicist. So without much ado, enjoy. In the studio with us today is... Yeah. Let's start from this side. Oh, introducing ourselves. Hi, I'm Pin Pin. I'm a director and I've just um, directed a film, Singapore Gaga. And, we have and I'm Margaret Langtan, a Singaporean who lives in New York and tours the world um, playing my toy pianos and the insides of pianos. <laughs> well, of insides of adult pianos, that is. Um, I'm Tianzi, the publicist and general maid of all work for this um, this release, and um, I'm I'm taking a year off from my studies overseas and back in Singapore for the moment, trying to do strange things. Cool. Like um, find karanguni horns from uh, yeah, treasure from riders. Yes, that's <laughs> hard work being a publicist for. Yeah, we have lots of noises. Okay, I'm awake now. <laughs> Normally we do our recordings at night when Ben's awake. Oh, I see. So today is like rare, a daytime recording. No, this must be the earliest podcast recording. We've ever recorded. It's always been like 12, 2 a.m. Unless, yeah. yeah. We, we have day jobs and uh, usually we just leave things to maybe what the earliest was. 8 7, or 8 p.m. Oh, wow. This so is this is Ben in the morning. Think of it as operating on the New York time. New York time. Um, I think it's a, it's something that was made. It, it's got a lot of heart. What got you started, right, uh, doing this movie? Um, I think I wanted to describe a Singapore to myself and share it with others. Okay. I mean, away from that sanitized version, I just knew that there was a Singapore that I knew that somehow mm. was never articulated, but only in my mind. So I just literally went on the streets and filmed the Singapore I knew, really. How long do you take to record all those sounds? I understand you had like how many hours of it? Like forty hours. Forty hours. I did it down to fifty-five. Yeah. Minutes. That's right. Forty hours. Mm. Um, how long did it take? The whole process took nine months. Wow. I mean, from start to end, uh, really yeah. in between jobs, kind of like you guys, you know, in the middle of mm. the, in a min- on a Saturday night, I'll be um, hanging out with Victor Koo and his ten thousand children. <laughs> 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 oh no, maybe two thousand kids. That right. kind of. That kind of thing. Was it difficult to get permission to like record stuff? Like I know you were in the the ma- madrasa madrasa school. Sorry. Mm, no, actually, it was actually really, really not hard at all. But yeah. mainly because people are just so glad that anyone's sort of taken any interest in them. Yeah. I, so I, I love that bit. Yeah. No, yeah. because that that madrasa bit was actually from another story when I was just researching on trying to do a little documentary on a day in the life of a madrasa school kid. Yeah. So I kind of like went to hang out in madrasa for a day. And then in the course of just chatting with the teachers, they said, oh, our sports day is next week, come. <laughs> and then it, I stumbled on onto yeah. a sports day of my life, really. <laughs> Solid, man. Like, it was just so, so much life. It was really peculiar because like the, the angles from which you shot it just completely like dragged me back to secondary school. Right, and, and, and <laughs> the mean, egg like, and spoon race. Yeah. Wow, that really brought back memories of childhood. I'm sure we did it at some point in our lives. We had real eggs. 
This, <laughs> oh, real eggs. Okay. In those days, we had real eggs, uh, hard boiled ones. Uh. Hard. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we went to school together. The egg and, and spoon I. race, oh. yeah. And oh. we went to raffles. Yeah? Yes, I did. Raffles. Oh, you went to raffles too? My God. <laughs> oh, no. We got three of Singapore's elite here. <laughs> we, we, are, we are ACS, arch enemies. <laughs> Up the hill. <laughs> Up the hill, yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. uh, what did you actually bring along with you to, to record these things? Um, often it would just be a monopod uh -huh. and then my little trusty PD-150. What's that? <laughs> yeah, it's a camera that's slightly in between a super duper, one of those professional cameras and one of those um, tourist cameras. So it's kind of in between. Yeah. yeah man we, I was yeah. super curious being the geek that I am as I was watching the show I was like what did she just shoot this part <laughs> how did she capture the sound because I'm, I'm an amateur you know I like play with cameras as well yeah. and digital cameras mm. and microphones as you can tell from the table so I was very curious how, how you did it because yeah. you know I'm sure you had to be mobile yeah I mean there were some scenes like Margaret's scene at the Void Deck where we we really were very conscious that we were recording ambient sound yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or when Margaret was pay playing in the substation so that was when we, we, we hired like super duper <coughs> mics and hired super duper sound men to record those sessions but other times sometimes I just stumble upon the people I meet it's really really quite uh, serendipitous mm. I mean like um, I was on my way with a camera somewhere I can't even remember where and then I met um, Mr. Ying the takyak mm. juggler Wow. Oh yeah, him. And then I'm like thinking, oh my goodness, what's he doing there? <laughs> I think where I was he? Tanjong Pagar MRT station. Oh. Mm. And then I struck up a conversation with him. That's when he was saying, giving me his whole life story about how he was kind of literally, even though he was a national treasure. <laughs> oh, I love the national treasure statement. Man. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was uh, so funny. How he was kind of like uh, handcuffed and thrown in a coal cell oh, all guy. by himself. So, um, yeah, I mean, even the tissue lady. I stumbled upon her as well I was on my way home mm. and then um, when I saw her I just thought I have to run home like now and grab my camera and just record you know so a lot of happy accidents like that have they all seen themselves in the film? pretty much so I think um, the lady who sells tissue Mrs. Liang Yu Tao is actually coming on 11th of March and what about the check out? Yeah, she's seen. I mean, he was there in, in, at the substation screening. Oh. And he gave us an impromptu performance. Oh, how wonderful. Wow. <laughs> did you manage to record did, it? Uh, uh, we have it on still. Oh, man. That is so yeah. cool. I was kind of like, my jaw just <laughs> dropped. I didn't expect it. And everyone just got really wild. I'm sure he loved it. Yeah. yeah. And of course, Juanita Melsa, you know, the voice of MRT, came for the came for the screening as well. Oh, I loved that bit as well. <laughs> yeah. And then when 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 she <laughs> when we, she stood up to introduce when I when she stood up when I introduced like everyone just like <sighs> silence and then everyone started clapping really really loudly like star yeah. <laughs> kind of like wow every day we hear her voice <laughs> and then suddenly there's a face <laughs> and it was just like I was so starstruck I thought it was an electronic voice <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't realize it belonged to a human being. I, I knew it couldn't be an electronic <laughs> voice because she said "paton poton pas." No, she said "bedo," because there was no way you could train an electronic voice to, to say "bedo." Yeah, it's true. Oh, is that I've right? tried it on, comp on, on the computer <laughs> yeah. before. Yeah. Even no matter how, yeah. how, how, how hard you try to phonetically spell it. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's "be do." It probably be. They always screw it up. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I, so. I love that. <laughs> I still couldn't see what the, the argument of fuss about Clementi was because it is pronounced Clementi. No, it's no, Clementi. No, you're wrong. No. No. <laughs> Go and ask any Italian. And the composer, Muzio Clementi, is Clementi. <laughs> Sorry. And my friend Anna Clementi from, from Italy is Anna Clementi. I know. It's Clementi. It's correct. <laughs> She's correct. She's no, absolutely no, correct. For me, it's always been Clementi. Yes. No, it's Clementi. You've got the accent on the wrong syllable. Excuse me. <laughs> Typical Singaporean. Yeah, you no, it's Clementi. Clementi. That's the correct pronunciation. Cool. So she was right all along. Uh, oh, she was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Public <laughs> opinion. <laughs> Margaret, how do you guys hook? How do you guys hook yeah, up? Yeah. I mean, you. Oh, Pin been. found me. <laughs> no, she made this wonderful album called the. Art I have of an the album toy, called the Art of the Toy, toy Piano, Piano, which I stumbled on when I was at Northwestern. Oh, okay. And That's where you found like it. When you were in the States. When I was in yeah. the States. And then I bought it. And then I thought, oh my God, I have to write you fan mail, which I did, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I tried to use um, one of her pieces for another documentary that I did called right, Grave Diggers Luck. We couldn't clear it. She, she 
it was a pity mm. um, that you know yeah. it was, it was just about, too complicated. Yeah. You couldn't clear it with Universal. Mm. Yeah. In the meantime, it's been used by Nip and Tuck. Right. <laughs> Nip and Tuck used uh. Uh, Sati Blues from okay. my album for um, their second season, oh. one of the episodes. And I didn't find out until a lot later, and there was huge amount of money involved, yeah. but huge. And I didn't find out about mm. it until later, only because the composer happened yeah. to tell me, by the way, did you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> only when I, when I heard so I'm so, I, it, it, it you, you couldn't have cleared it. Mm. It was totally out out, out of, of your price range, range. No range. way. Anyway, yeah. m- when I heard her, her album, I just thought I want to use her music for every film they've ever made. Any film, whether, I'll, if it, even if it doesn't fit, I'll make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> tailor the film to the music. <laughs> yes. <and> nothing. <laughs> but then we found a way around it um, because in this recent film, I happened to be back in Singapore last January and Pin wanted to use the, um, a selection from my album the Beethoven Moonlight Sonata but then we started talking and, and it became more appropriate that I perform live for her mm-hmm. so that's how we cir- circumvented all that red yeah. tape with, with cool. clearance rights yeah. oh, that's a minefield uh, like copyright and stuff. it's a minefield oh, it's, it's wow. an absolute nightmare yeah. Yeah. I know all about it I mean it. Yeah. like one of the the, the, the Tok Tok Mi, Mi song that she yeah. played yeah. I had to actually it was so serendipitous as well I mean the whole thing with, with was you and it was serendipitous Eric was Griswold the, the com- composer was happened to be in Singapore at that time uh-huh. yeah when she wanted to get clearance I had and left I Singapore like and I and I emailed Eric he says guess what I'm in Singapore right now I said oh my god so I'm in Singapore till to tomorrow then I said okay I'll oh. take a taxi tonight to go to his house to get him oh, to sign the release person. Yeah. oh did he get to see anything of it Have no, no, no at anything? that time I haven't he hasn't oh, yeah. seen anything do send him a copy because he's dying to see it. Sure, yeah, wow. sure. And he's in Brisbane, like right? So soon, uh. Taxi at night to get a composer. And to he, sign he was very, release. very forthcoming, right? He was very forthcoming. Um, yeah, and, and he's he delighted that I'm playing at your opening. And wait till I tell him I'm also playing the music box segment. Yeah, you know, because he thought I was just doing chooks, um, and the bicycle. Bicycle Bell Toy Piano segment mm. and the Top Top Me <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, with, with, with Toy Piano. And now I'm adding the, the, the music box segment, mm. which also is part of Singapore's, you know, when we were children, we had those little music boxes with yeah. little dances that ballerinas at 12 when you open the lid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, I've seen so those before. My mom. Yeah. He's, also, he's actually American, um, living in Brisbane. He's married to, to an Australian girl, so oh, he's, he's emigrated. Chooks means chicken. Yeah, I know. The Chooks means chicken. Did it like two? Yeah, like oh like no. bamboo. Yeah. So Chook, I uh, that two. Like, okay. Also, it's, I translated it into chickens because it, I it is. It means chickens. Them. So you know, chooks means yeah. chickens. But it also okay. works for talk talk me for the sound. You know. Yeah. 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 Talking about sound, you brought some. Stuff. Oh yeah, that's these are from from the bicycle lee hooker that the bicycle uh, bell toy piano movement and it's actually for toy piano, bicycle bell. This is. One I got at Takashimaya, Takashimaya because my bell died on me. Poor and bell. My bell just gave up. It was just too tired. To, you know, I prepped it. <laughs> this is a marvelous one. I guess it fits my hand just perfectly. Wow. You know? And then my bicycle horn also died. It conked out on me two days ago. And, and Pin found me this Kalangoni man horn. Oh, yeah. They still use this. <laughs> That's how she just got it because it's still it's yeah. perfect. She, she ripped it off a trishaw. Didn't really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, because yeah. I was I was just so distressed because like, I couldn't find a specific shot with it, and weekends everything was closed. So I was walking around Raffles, and, and even if you walk around, you won't find one yeah, probably. Exactly. This is the perfect sound. Yeah, this is yeah, it. Yeah. It's called the condor horn. Condor horn. <laughs> Straight model A number one. <laughs> we have the hero Not condo. and the condor horn. Yeah, and then the last thing I use is my train whistle. So I'm actually playing. Can you do this for me for now? Sure. Um, actually, because you know the horn I had was a little bulb horn. Oh, play, play for us. Show, yeah, play. Uh, can you show me my? Pass me my bag. I'll show you the little bulb horn, and it was perfect because and I worked so hard on it to be able to play bell and horn at the same time. Cool. Live recording, man. Oh, I'm very good at multitasking. No, the horn is dead. <laughs> Oh, no. no, my horn died. That's why with this, this whole one. saga of trying oh. to find the new horn. Because I would literally was going Hold like, like this, you know. I was pressing the bow with the base of my palm and playing. Oh, okay. These were going together. I mean, the coordination it took was incredible. So in a way, it's going to be easier because I'm going to do this the the Kalangoni horn with my foot. 
Oh, okay. You're she's going to she's gonna perform at the opening. I'm performing at the opening and, with and my the foot. And the opening is the... 9th. 9th of... It's just kind of like... Uh, March. M- sponsors and, and friends of Singapore. Come, step. Mm. Can no, I, can, no, I can do it. Okay. Since, okay. I'm, not, since I'm not playing Thai piano, I okay. can do it. She's going to perform. So it's like this one. Wait. Now I coordinate. Because my whole choreography has changed. So it's not working now. Huh? So it will be like this. Mm. That's the end of the piece. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, I wish I could do this with my hand, but yeah, I'm busy, busy playing the toy piano with this piano. hand. So this will have to be done with my foot. Wow. I've got to go home and rework my choreography. Sure. Because of the horn. The yeah. yeah, because I was doing it before like this one. So no totally, no to- no totally yeah. on it. And you can't no find it anymore? No more, it's dead. The pitch oh. got lower and lower and then it died. This was three <laughs> days ago. And it has since to then I've been, it re- you know, I think the rubber oh. also gave up because Singapore, the, it's, so, it's, it's melting, it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Singapore, everything melts. Oh, yes. <laughs> it does actually. Because yeah. of the weather. Anything with rubber. So condom wearers, be careful. <laughs> You <laughs> don't put in pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or in your car. Don't leave in your car. Don't leave your car. Better not leave this horn in the car either, because this is gonna oh, yeah, the, rubber, piece. rubber piece might melt. You know, we better be very careful. We still hear it. that. You know, like the Kalakuni um, man uses it all the time. Yeah. It's so perfect. My my mother refuses to sell them. Yeah. The papers. So this whole thing is a cross between <laughs> Harpo Marx, Kalakuni man. <laughs> Cool man, but it's really hard and, to and get me. like all the equipment you need because sometimes it's just very unique the sounds that they make and then if you yeah. no longer have them you got to hunt for an alternative. Right, right. And oh, the pitch sounds yesterday good. Yesterday we yeah. were went horn hunting mm. together. <coughs> there was a wait, that's not a bag. Oh, where's the bag. other one? Oh. oh, give me the bag. Then she found this one. She played it to me on the oh. phone. Actually, it sounds better in real life than on the phone. On the phone, it sounded terrible. Oh, that's but it, it's a yeah, horn, but <laughs> but it's got two pitches. You don't. Which is just not what I want. I want uh, you know. So it's it's okay, but it, but I think that is more authentic. No, no, no it sounds it's perfect for. Yeah, that's yeah. a lovely sound, man. It's yeah. perfect for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can give this to a nephew or a niece or somebody. Okay, but I'm going to take it for the meantime pin in case I find that horn too impossible to manipulate sure. and not reliably, you know, uh, producing sound. I may land up because this one is much. I can just step on this on his head. On yeah. this tiger's head, but again, I have to figure how to mount this thing. Okay, you know, mm. yeah. Get Actually, we'll talk about this yeah, afterwards. We'll talk about this after. I kept, yeah. kept going back because yeah. I, I have to figure out some way of doing it this afternoon. Okay, right. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. No I'm so excited to hear all this like activity. I think we have to go to the opening. Yeah, yeah man. I'm gonna take the missus to watch. Oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have a few questions. Uh, oh. They've been bugging me for the longest time since I see this, since I saw the the, the the movie. How did you film uh, that part in the train when the guys were sleeping, and then in the reflection Whoa. you can't see the cameraman? If you actually look carefully, you'll see me Can. kind of like holding out my lap and looking like. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've happened. We just surrendered wearing a black T-shirt as well. Oh. I was like, wow, so good. Like special effect. <laughs> <laughs> and then that scene with the National Day. Uh, you know, the, the, the performance. Inflate, the inflatable. Mm. Yeah. Miyagi and myself, we were sitting in the back, like tittering, like, tongue, tongue. <laughs> Looks like a tongue. <laughs> like a giant tongue. Because it was going higher and higher. It's supposed to be a mountain that yeah. Singaporeans scale. <laughs> but being the wapped people that we are, it's like, giant tongue. Must be saying something. You can figure out what he's trying to say. <laughs> What's the meaning? What's the meaning of the tongue? But it, it was very corny. I know, but yeah. it, National Day parades are very, very corny. Oh, yeah. But I can't help like weeping at the end of it. I've attended a few, <laughs> and it's very emotional. It is, it is. It is. totally. It is. It's cringe worthy, but you kind of feel this lump in your throat. You watch on TV, and the feeling's not the same. No, mm. definitely not. I've, I've been, I went, in the, I'm like, I'm like cheering like everybody else and yeah. the fireworks are going off and you're like, yeah, you know, yeah, and Singapore, I'm yeah. <laughs> and I'm the most cynical person in the world and I'm so sitting there going you, like... When you're taking part in the yeah, yeah, yeah. parades, it's even more... Is it? Also, yeah, I, I mean, think the taking part is just a whole excuse for people to date. Like young people, you know, the guys from the... The, 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 the guys from the boys' brigade contingent like hanging out with the chicks from the... Sodoku, whatever Sodoku, dancing. Soku found. Oh, Soka. Soka Association. Yeah, then somehow they have a party after the whole thing. <laughs> so it's an excuse. 
I know it's been called a ba chang. It's also <laughs> been called Mount Everest. That inflatable <laughs> tongue. <laughs> what was it like doing the filming in the void deck? I thought that was really interesting. Like, did people stop, stare? <clears throat> Nobody bothered to pay us any attention. They were all so hell-bent on going about their own activities, whether it's going to check the, the, the mailboxes there or talking on their cell phones. Nobody th thought it was surreal or in any way out of the ordinary to have a toy piano with somebody sitting there doing nothing in the void deck. Really, people are not very curious. They're not. No, there were one or two people who yeah. kind of like Did? stood really? and watched and they were waiting for sound to come out. But I thought most people just went about their own business. I saw a guy at the back who actually stood there for at least a minute or two. Yeah, waiting yeah. for something yeah, to happen, yeah, right? And then when nothing happened, <laughs> they just thought this was a really cruel joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's no, what no. they thought of the, at the premiere of 433 also, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> back no, 50 years ago. No music, uh. no singing, uh. so no dancing girls. Uh. Clear it, clear it. <laughs> they thought you were filming a music video or something and it's like not getting it. Or something. <laughs> Singaporeans are like that though. I think we, we tune out. We are very focused on the things that we are supposed to do. So we kind That's of it. ignore the, the, the <clears throat> ambient. It's a blinkers on approach to life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how we're trained to be blinkers mm. on. Yeah, yeah. And has being abroad for an extended period of time actually helped you be more aware of the little things here? Oh, of course, because you come back, you see things with new eyes. Uh -huh. You know, you actually, you're, you're, you become more observant of things you took for granted. You just become more observant in general. What were the things Once that you, you, you go out in the great big world. When you came back, uh, what, was the, what, what are the things that you noticed straight away? Everything. All the things that people take for granted. The sound of the, of the, 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 the sweeper with the sapulili kind of um, ah, broom. Sapulili, that's a great word. You know, that's yeah. a sound that you don't hear abroad. So you, you, pay, you pay attention to things like that. Yeah. That are so much part of daily life, no one else notices it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, the real trick is to maintain that sense of curiosity, heightened yeah. curiosity, even yeah. without <laughs> leaving, <laughs> mm. or coming back and sustaining it for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah, that's, that's and just that name, Sapu Lili. I just love oh yeah, yeah. My, ma my mom <laughs> such a great word, word uh, Sapu Lili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, the once I, I was in a void deck. Literally, I was in a void deck playing cards with uh, this last year with a couple of friends. We play. Um, trading card games in the void deck. I know it's very sad, very right? nerdish. <laughs> Delinquent, Lord of the Rings, we were playing that. And we played till 6 in the morning. And the, the rubbish guys came, the foreign workers who you, you know, clear out. And I suddenly realised that we don't see them very often. And by the time we wake up, they're gone. They've done their job. But at 6am, you, know, you suddenly hear the guys opening up all the, con you know, the, the sweeping, the sound, the smells. And these guys were just clearing out all the shoots, and and you know you, you suddenly realize that there are people who do this for you every every day, mm. and you, you wake up, you don't see them anymore. Yeah. So Singaporeans always assume that, you know, we wake up and Singapore is clean again. Yeah. But actually, we owe a lot to the foreign workers who do yeah. the stuff every morning at five six a.m. You obviously haven't gotten up early to go to school for a very very long time. I'm <laughs> a night person. Yeah. I don't. It was so startling to me. I was playing cards. I mean. Then the sounds, kong, kong, shh, shh, shh. and it was such a rich experience. It's like mm. it stuck in my mind. My office is in Little India, ah. and on some days when I'm there early, there's a coffee shop downstairs, and I hear sounds like "Gobia oh, Siutai." <laughs> That's so great. And I'm like in the so toilet, and yeah. I hear it. And I'm like thinking, "Oh my goodness, this is." You don't hear this anymore. You, don't, you, you hear this. We live in in certain. Place at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really you, uh, we, um, the, the couple of coffee shops I go to, the mm. the, the Indian man shouts that. Really? In yeah, yeah, yeah. In total pitch perfect Cantonese, in Hokkien, whatever language, he can speak the dialect. Wow. And he's like, Park you. Park you is Milo. Oh. Park you siu tai. Oh, okay, the Milo. Because the like Milo tin. <laughs> Has a guy kicking a soccer, oh soccer my ball. God. <laughs> so Milo is called oh, Parkyu, which is kicking a ball, you know, football. Yeah. So you don't order Milo, you order Parkyu. Yeah. It's very funny. It For the longest time, I was like, what is it? Oh, Milo, I just want Milo. What, what is Parkyu? Parkyu, see what's the, 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 the logo. Song. Yeah, the logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah so, so many more sounds and voices out there that we really want to record. There are some that have disappeared already. I remember, uh, <coughs> do, you, do you remember on Tanjung Paga, there's this four fine restaurant? Lee Donkey. Lee Donkey, yeah. I have, I have, I have. He, um, uh, in a human calculator as well. He'll, he'll tabulate your, whatever you spent 
very loudly in Cantonese. I, I can't, I can't and so it. musical to and hear him do it. Mm. Mm. Whatever you order, you come, you come to your table, and then I say, Meh. And when, then you just point to the menu and everything. He just shouts from your table to the kitchen, your entire order for your whole table, very, very loudly. I don't know why he does that. Because after that, he walks to the kitchen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to be sure that you know that he ordered the right things for you. Yeah, that's right. That's like the waiter reading the yeah, menu yeah. back, your order back to you. Yeah. His way of doing it. Or maybe it's kind of like the Japanese when you come in, they shout at you. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe it's part of the theatrical experience of eating. It could be like that. He's, not, he's no longer there. The restaurant's still there, but he's no longer there. So it's pretty right. that nobody uh, mm. actually recorded it. Cool. Tell us when the movie is screening so the listeners ah. will know. It's screening from March 11th until um, April 16th. It's on for five weeks at the Arts House, um, screening every weekend and every Wednesday. Give the times. Uh, it's on weekends, it is 4 30. Saturday and then on Sunday, yeah? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday And on Wednesday night It's at 7.30 We want to book tickets It's 6332-6919 Again? 6332-6919 The film is one hour long One hour long <coughs> And uh, that's March 2006, guys <laughs> With podcasts, you have to do that Because they listen to it next year They're like, oh, let's go <laughs> <laughs> Then you see like, doors closed <laughs> Oh dear They bluff me yeah. Brown and Miyagi bluff us well, thanks again for being on the show. No, thank you. We thank will you. see you at your uh, at, at, at your film. Okay. Yeah, and we'll tell everyone about it. We'll bring thank more you. people. Oh, that'd yeah, be yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks well, again. actually, since I got a table surface now, I'm going to show you the, the music box. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take the photos. That's the mechanism inside the music box. Yeah, but it's been altered. Ah. It's been combined between two different ones. What the, what the composer did was to actually um, use the same keys. Uh-huh. He used the, 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 the teeth of one and the roller of another. It's very soft, but it's much, much louder, like five times louder on my toy piano. It's time for condom question. Ding. I love the jingle. Yes. Okay. What's our condom question today? Quest, uh, condom question. Okay, before we start condom question, just one question this week. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, okay. Now. Let's go right into the question. Condom got what shape? Oh, this is a deep question we, Very deep question we, we, we can answer Yeah, so we encourage all the listeners to uh, send in your answers To yeah. uh, Mr. Brown at mrbrown.com Why, why would it be my email box? <laughs> cannot be miyagi at miyagi.sg No lah, mrbrown.com better ma My box very full eh. <laughs> Your box more space, you don't get as much email as me <laughs> Right, yeah, okay, never mind Anyway, <laughs> condom got what shape, okay? okay. So send us your, send us your suggestions, suggestions and, answers, and answers, suggested answers, mm. and we may read them out in the next show. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for joining us for this uh, episode of uh, the Mr. Brown Show. This is Mr. Brown saying goodbye. And uh, before we leave you, here's a message from our sponsor. And our sponsor, as you know already, is uh, Okamoto Condoms. Now available at all major retailers like 7-Eleven, Watson's, Cheers, Guardian, FairPrice, Cold Storage, Giant, Kafu, Shop and Safe, and NHG Pharmacies. All these places, huh? So you, you have no excuse no for excuse not, not practicing practicing Okamoto condom sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oi, huh? I forgot the contest. Oh, okay. Website, la. Yes. Uh, uh, this reminder, please. Uh, there are cash prizes to be won. Just go to uh, www.condomcontest.com. Cash prizes up to one thousand dollars to be won until the end of the month. Yep. So don't forget to go there and win money. Okay. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Brown Show once again. This is Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. Welcome to 
to the less than soundproof Mr. Brown show. <laughs> and we're back uh, with uh, with me in the studio today. It's Mr. Miyagi. Hello, everybody. Slurring. And uh, welcome to the Mr. Brown show. I'm Mr. Brown. And uh, today, back by popular demand for this show, Johnny is back. Johnny! Here's Johnny! For the seventh installment of Cheng Mai Ka. Cheng Mai Ka, the yeah. erection special. It's a very special podcast. Yes. And before we go on, this podcast is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms. Okamoto Condoms are exclusively made of Shialon, an advanced material so strong and durable it can be made much thinner than ordinary latex condoms. Wow. Strong is good. Strong is always I li- I like good. Strong. Strong is important. Mm. Like Superman, strong. Especially when you know good. you're going to use the condom, you better be strong. Strong. Mm. <laughs> like Johnny. Yes. So let's not hold him back from his erection special. Yep. Cheng my car election special. Number seven. Enjoy. Hello everybody! This is Johnny! Welcome to my show! Yes, East B, welcome to Chung My Ka! Wow, long time no she, huh? Long time no here, huh? Yes, all my Gerang fan, welcome to my show, huh? Johnny like to Chung Ka and Chung for you peoples. Long time no see, long time no here, you know, huh? This sponsor thing got problem, huh? Johnny want to sponsor, get sponsor, huh? And all the sponsor, huh? They want to discount, huh? Want to Chung. Then after that, they do one, then one. Then do one, then one, then do one. Uh, tells them, you want do one kilana. Nah, be one by one. They think Johnny very free. Uh. Lucky this fellow, Mr. Brown, uh, he got his condom sponsor him. Uh. Then, uh, sad, sad, no love. Uh. I also want to come down to sponsor the Johnny Tsung Wai Kasu, especially for all you Gerang fan. Yeah, you always be used the condom, right? <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Brown. He go and drink the fort- porridge already. Uh. So uh, he lent me all his show equipment. Like today, uh, he also lent me his show partner, you know, Mr. Miyaki. Yes. Hello. Where is my car? Ah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, show finish first, then I show you. Lah. I want to see my car now. Eh, wait later. Lah. Don't so come chung. Uh, Singapore is very small. Uh, your car cannot run away. Uh, don't scare. It's only already do for you. Uh, do the show. Yeah? Do with me first, then. I give back your cars to you. You say one, ah. You better have the car with you when we rap. Huh? Rap? What is be rap? The rap music, ah. You want me to rap, ah? Can not so, la. J of the O of the eights of the nana of the what is be spelled Johnny. <laughs> okay. Good or not? Good or not? Uh, I can be rappers, not? Yes. Ah, uh, rapperist, ah. Uh. Rappers. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Uh. Mm. Today, uh, our show is very special. Uh-huh. Uh huh. got this fellow. He told me want to turn his car. I cannot tell you lah. He say very important. He want to turn his car because the erection is coming. Who is it? Cannot tell you lah. But the fellow want to turn his car all white color one. White is a bit difficult to maintain, right? Yes. I tell you, very hard to maintain. White color always last someone. Uh, but I heard some uh, got special pain and the polish. This white color, uh, the dirt cannot stick one. You throw the dirt uh, on it, the dirt will fall off. Uh, forever clean one. Uh, very clean. Uh, it's because of the self cleaning polish. Self cleaning polish, is such a thing? God, the shop don't sell any. Uh huh. Yeah. You sure this polish can work? Eh, hey, hello. Can work. Can work This type of question uh, Please uh, Don't ask uh, This company Very very fierce one uh, uh, You say their polish Don't work uh, Wait they show you Until you Tung call uh, Luck call Wow uh. oh, okay yeah. uh, Very long question Confirm work one uh, White color car No dirt It's the best polish In the world Even a hot Sometimes use on his face <laughs> really? Eh? Oh. So, eh, so the this big stack of paper you're holding is the list of things that well, you You see la, so many things you know. Then want me to do the thing for him, then here write until like write the composition like that, like hmm. the school, primary school write composition. Huh. Oh long long story. Eh? So so what's he want what does he want you to do? Uh, uh, yeah. He say uh, he want to do the sound system. La. Bass tube? Uh yeah. But more than the bass tube More than that Special uh. package uh. He want to do the speaker giant one But you always do that what? No, no, no When I say giant speaker uh, It's not like the Konglong The 
Godzilla kind of giant. This is the King Kong kind of giant. Giant until uh, cannot put inside the car. Huh. Cannot put inside the car, then Very can't fit, then how? Put on the roof. Lor. Are you sure you want to make like that? He say he want ne, ma want ne, no choice. He want to put on the roof. So huh, he say also must make sure uh, must the speaker mount properly. Wait uh-huh. for on people head. Gonna injured. Uh. It's the killer litter. <laughs> uh, so must put the thing tight tight. Uh. He asked me use the best rivet. Uh-huh. Uh, the waterproof rivet. Waterproof. Uh, waterproof, bulletproof, all proof lah. Uh, hmm. Aluminium one uh, can use, but then use already wet color on the road. Uh. <laughs> so uh, say must use the titanium rivet. Titanium. Uh. Oh, use the space shuttle. Use one. Uh, put on the space shuttle. Go the moon. Come back. The <laughs> rivet won't color. Uh. So he say he must must use. I must use this kind of rivet. Nonsense. Yeah, man. put this out speaker. Yeah, who needs such big speakers anyway? He say he want big speaker. Eh, then use to know during the what mobile rally lah. Then ha, say after he win ha, he want to drive her around lah. Then say thank you, thank you, loud loud to all his fans ah. Uh, uh-huh. Like Johnny like that yeah. I also think good. Next time I also turn my car the speaker be like that. So you can drive around and thank all your fans. Thank you. Uh, right, you drive to Geylang. Thank you, thank you. Cheer, 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 ni. Yeah. Tong wo yi piao zi zi wo. Ah, that then is got face ma. Right, no. Okay. Uh, what else? What else on the list? Ah, uh, actually, oh. No, I think I don't want to do the speaker already. Why? Like? Wait, turn the speaker. Cannot drive the underground car park. Oh, ah, uh, longer oh, yeah. the roof, ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Because some underground car park cannot drive to. But huh, the next thing he want to turn, I hate it. Why? It's the seat, no. This fella uh, want me to turn his three seat car become six seat car. Uh-huh. Three seat can become six seat. Then he say if cannot, uh, then downgrade change to one seat. I told him three seat to six seat can uh. six to three also can uh. but huh, one seat. Where got people one seat one of this? Huh? Very old fashioned, very hard to see already one seat. Got a few uh, but one people see uh, it's very rare they want to drive. Everybody also want to drive the one seat. But yeah. he want the six seat uh, because he now he got a lot of friends. Uh. <laughs> uh, he got all of when he together uh, he always have to travel with his friend. Uh. One of them is either Malay or Indian. Uh. Oh is it? Uh, I don't know why, special. So mm. must make his seat uh, from the sports car made into MPV. Uh. Is it possible? Uh, yeah, always do one. Johnny night. always anything is possible. Mm. Uh, I can sing one. He he also want to sing the seat custom one. Custom. Mm, he oh. don't like the normal yeah. seat. Say not comfortable seat, really not comfortable. Custom make so can only fit his best side. Ah, <laughs> uh, fit not only his best side. Other people cannot sit properly. Ah, uh, you wait, can make that uh, also. Huh? You can make that also. Can. So no, no. What can Johnny not sing? You tell me. Your best side square shape also. I can sing for you to sit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, sit already. You don't want to do to, to, to get up. Uh. Sit forever. Ever and ever and ever. Okay. Uh, ever. Uh, I tell you. Go to the petrol pump also. You don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> uh. Is it made of leather? Any material. Uh. Now today. Leather. Plastic. Skin. Animal Momo also got Oh yeah? Oh I can I can find for you Don't worry What else is on the list? I feel Damn long uh, the list Very long uh. Now you want to do engine also Ah that's the interesting part right A lot of people want to know How they This uh, People Yeah la, Do the engine to... uh. Come to Johnny Want to turn the engine for first So this fellow Want to turbo his engine But then uh, He say la, No budget la. Always like that uh, your uh, No budget Not enough budget so we want to just put the turbo GRC sticker. GRC? Uh, turbo GRC. GRC. It's a new model. What it's is this not, it's, for? A, it's not the it's not the DOSC. Uh. Not the it's DOSC. the GRC. Go racing charger. Go racing charger. Ah, oh. It's different. Uh. Mm. Not everywhere can buy. But, but it's quite easy to do, right? Ah, how can uh, how design it, right? Ah, yeah, the bugger uh, a bit headache. Uh. Right. He want to do the sticker, put four language. The English, the Chinese the Murray and the Tamils. But you can do it, right? Can, uh, but I hope the, the Tamil and the Murray not very good. Uh. Then some more, uh, you do the four language. Uh. Mm. Then afterwards, the space uh, not enough. Uh. The word very long. Then have to you turn the left turn, right turn <laughs> on the road, on the on the car, then turn the window. Then you from side see, you can only see the word the. Mm. Cannot see the word bow. <laughs> you go behind, then you can see the bow. In sight, see the, the, then bow, the, then bow. Uh, then, uh, 
，哎呀，什么啊？ The Tamil not good， then。I, I don't know how to find translator lah. <laughs> but this guy also a bit quite strong lah. He asked for more language at first. He asked me to do Zheng for him English, Chinese, Malay, Tamil, and Hokkien. Hokkien also. Oh, Hokkien. Why? Don't know lah. He said his district a lot of people, his area a lot of people lah. Uh, speak Hokkien one. So Hokkien speaker also he want lah. Oh, okay. Yeah lah. That's why. Then now lah, he want to make the bigger fuel tank lah. Bigger fuel tank. Oh, he want to turn his fuel tank big, big. He want to mm. drive far, far lah. Because oh, his area is very big. Everywhere is his area. He drive leh wah from here oh. He go to Simi also still call Arjuni. Really? Oh, then funny right? The Arjuni road down there is not called Arjuni leh. Hmm. Ah, Simi there is not called Arjuni leh. Eh, Simi is ah. Yeah. Ah, almost Simi ah. Ah, Simi is not lah, but almost kena Simi is already. Ah, is also called Arjuni. Then much like the Topayo, the Salakau, oh, come to Geylang say Lorong Seven, Lorong Eight, ah, in Lorong Nine, ah, it's belong to them. Then lucky is so confused. Oh. If it's not so confused, ah, the Salakau ah, will fight until all die. This political area thing very confusing. Ah. Is it that bad? Very bad. I tell you my story. Last time ah, my shop ah, bis- business ah, is good. Ah. Now still good. Ah, so good, noisy. very good. Yeah. Then oh, see, the, I have to buy the next door the shop space. Ah. Yeah. So now oh, I this side oh, is Ajuni. Then the right side ah, is Aukang. You see? You standing down there on the floor down there, you see, no? uh, uh. it's the imaginary line. You know? uh. I is standing in the Ajuni side. You are standing in the Aukang side. Hello, you can see me. Ah, shake hand, you see, shake hand. Ah, uh, Ajuni and Aukang shake hand. Ah, uh, you see, and you see the Ajuni side, the floor. Ah, uh, uh. got no crack. Ah, uh, no crack. Ah, uh. I also call Ahong make more commission. Ah, uh, to do more sticker. So he bolui. Uh, uh, you know, because he always go Phuket and uh, party, then you suddenly no money, right? You know? mm. So I asked the fella, you want to add the lightning sticker or not? Yeah, and and then, then huh, he say no need. He say at home he got a lot of lightning sticker. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Uh. He a lot of lightning sticker. Maybe he's a collector. Yeah, uh, collector lah. Maybe mm. lah. He collect a lot of things. Uh. Then the sticker, huh, other people's sticker, huh, is only for show. Uh. Mm. Uh, not really, it's make the car faster, right? No. I heard, huh? His lightning sticker put already. The car can go very fast. Confirm fast. Real one. Ah, mm. where to find? Anyway, this fella uh, quite joker lah. Make hard. Make my life very hard lah. He want to zeng. Uh. Want to make his car very fierce. And then, then ho, same time he say, I scared people say expensive. My car too expensive. Yeah yeah. Scared right. people say yeah yeah. Ah, uh, you want to zeng, but then scared yeah yeah. So I say, where you want to put the spoiler? He said, "Yes, I want to put the spoiler. And I want to put side skirt also. I want to put everything for like spoiler side skirt. But I don't want people to see it. Huh? Where got such thing one? Yeah. Then I said, how? Then he said, put the spoiler inside, lor. <laughs> Where got people put the spoiler inside one? The aircon wind too strong, is it? So now I headache. The the spoiler cannot fit the inside. I have to cut. Want to yaya but don't want to yaya. Must be zeng but not zeng. Invisible zeng. I also got ask him, sir. You what budget? What is your budget this year? Then he say, my budget this year. Got lah. Got budget lah. But not as big as last time. They always say that right. All these yeah, customers. Yeah, that's right. The budget lah. Uh, then I ask him want to do the tire, no? Because I see his tire a bit old already, lah. Mm. So I want to turn more fierce one. Mm. Then he said, "Yes, can change the tire. I want to do the tire. Is this brand only? Mm. Good year. <laughs> so he said, I only want more good years. Ah, <laughs> uh, I ask him, you don't maturing the one the Bridgestone, no? Good year, more good years. Ah, uh, uh, that's what he want. Then uh, I turn for him his high five already." Can play MP3, can play the this changer or this yeah, uh, all thing can change, can can do a lot of thing. But his inside only got one song. One song? Yeah. What song is that? It's the Singapore song. Don't know why only got song. one song. Yeah, I sing for you to hear. I I every day uh, I do the thing. I have to play right. Mm. I hear until want to cry already. Every day it's got this song come out. There was a time when people say that Singapore cannot make it, but he did. There was a time that Singapore is got trouble, but he did. 
Counts on me, Singapore. Stand up for Singapore. We are Singaporean. Count on me to stand up for Singapore. Like that, lor. One song only. <laughs> oh, then I tell him the add other song. He say the one. So the whole time I do the Zheng the stereo, keep playing this song. Wow, wow I want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> so. He said he will pick up his car lah tomorrow. I have very stress ah. Uh, so many things. Oh, he's coming to pick up his car. He's so busy how he pick up his car. Oh, he say his car with me, so he will walk over. Uh, he say he will walk over to pick up his car. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So uh, I have to do the car already lah. Yeah. So you you don't catch me lah. Yeah, where's my, where's my car then? Where's my car? You say you going to show me your car. Ah, uh, later then I show you. We go to him copy first. Okay. Copy hey, increase ten cent. Like I like you. absorb the ten cent for you. The copy GST. Hey, trying to bribe me so that I don't get my car, right? No, your car is dirty. Don't worry. It's over at the Aukang Sak. Ah, uh. uh, we are at the Aljuni side now. Later I show you Okay So Johnny got to say Go back already uh, Everybody uh, Remember to watch Johnny Zeng my car Okay uh, so Johnny say goodbye And that's the Mr. Brown show For this week uh, Johnny will be back With more Zeng my car When he feels like it Yes Johnny is A very popular man Very difficult To get him on any show la. He's very popular Popular huh? Popular I didn't say popular No I did <laughs> Popular, <laughs> popular. <laughs> It's brother of porcupine <laughs> Porcupine's brother is popular It's a separate breed Yes Anyway just a reminder To all listeners That uh, the condom Condom contest Is still on Don't spell wrongly uh. Condom Condom Condom, yeah, condom. condom contest Just go to www.condomcontest.com For your chance To win cash prizes Up to $1,000 And this contest Is on until April and uh, this show is brought to you by Okamoto Condoms, which is available at all major retailers like 7-Eleven, Watsons, Cheers, Guardian, Fair Price, Cold Storage, Giant, Kafu, Shop and Save, and NHG Pharmacies. And all GRCs. Huh? <laughs> GRCs, you know? Go racing charges. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for the show. This is Mr. Brown saying uh, goodbye. This is Mr. Miyagi signing off as well. Uh, see you guys soon. And uh, Mr. Brown Show and Sung My Car is production of mrbrown.com. See ya. Bye. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Brown Show once again. This is Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. Hello, welcome to the Mr. Brown Show once again. I'm Mr. Brown. And this is Mr. Miyagi. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Today, we have a great show for you. We have a new friend introduced to all of you listeners. And mm-hmm. uh, we found him uh, because uh, Mr. Miyagi here got uh, curious and joined a tour group uh, to find out more about the place uh, where our new studio is located, which yeah. is Katong. Yeah, and I'm uh, unfamiliar with the East, so I decided to go take a look around. And there was this uh, nice little local tour that was uh, taking people around. And uh, yeah. So anyway, before we uh, introduce you to our new friend, uh, we'd like to remind everybody that this podcast is sponsored by Okamoto Condoms, the number one selling condoms in Japan. Okamoto Condoms are exclusively made of Shialon, which gives the condom a silkier, more natural feel, much like skin itself. Mmm, skin. Mm, yes, and remember, not just silkier, you can also win up to $1,000 in cash if you participate in the Okamoto Condom Contest. Entries must reach Okamoto by 7th of April 2006. Uh, that means next month, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just go to www.condomcontest.com And so, without further ado, let's join the tour. Yes, come along please, come along. Ah, careful, come along the bus, don't fall out. Ah, ah, yes, please ma'am, move one side, thank you very much. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to Singapore. Welcome to uh, Fast Horse uh, Bus and Tour Company, the one last of Singapore tour, Katong. Our motto is uh, our bus and tours is no horse run. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. My name is Nuda, Nuda Chia, Chia Mikia. Uh, you can call me Nuda. Yes, the is my favorite actor. Like Italian name, yeah? Yeah, you like? I also like uh, the name, my favorite actor uh, in Hong Kong. So, thank you very much. Today we come here, the tour. We have many things to eat. I show you the beautiful place of the Katong. 
Uh, it's a very nice place for the tourists. Uh, it's, it's Unili, Singapore. Everything in the Katong is Unili. Unili is the name of Katong. It's the meaning of Katong. So I bring you, bring this famous place. Uh, uh, you walk with me, follow my umbrella, please. Don't go away. Uh, you walk away, you get lost, you call my handphone. Okay? You look at my umbrella, the, 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 the umbrella with a horse. Yes, horse? <laughs> horse? Ah, <laughs> don't lose, huh? Ah, so you must call my handphone, you lost. Okay? Sorry, miss. What? Handphone. H handphone. You know handphone? Uh, oh, uh, mobile phone. Mobile. Mobile? Ah, your country called mobile. Uh, some America it called cell. Cell phone. Ah, you call my cell phone. Uh, mobile phone. Uh, in Singapore we call handphone. Because use hand to call. So handphone. <laughs> so it's uh, uh, call me. Don't lose. Uh, and, and, and we I I will come and catch you. Okay. Thank you. Excuse so, me. Excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Yes, Mr. Miyaki. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, hey, oh, thank you very much. Konnichiwa. Welcome to the tour from Japan. Everyone, please say hello to Mr. Miyaki from Japan. Uh, I'm actually local. Yes, local Japan. Yes, we know. I like to have local Japan. Uh, welcomes you. Uh, 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 yes. I'm actually Singaporean. You can call me Ben. Oh, Ben. Ben Miyaki. Your mother Amor, your father Japanese? No, Japanese Amor. No, never mind. I just oh. wanted to ask: where, Are we going to eat lunch? Yes, later. Uh, I take you eat the lunch. Uh, then uh, we will see all the different uh, famous uh, food of the the Katong. You like Western food? You like Japanese food? You Japanese local? Yes, like the Japanese local food. Uh, we eat the Singapore food, Malay food. Uh, here got many food, uh, different food from different country, even the Hakka food, Hakka country. It's many, many different kinds. So, uh, one thing I tell you now, we come here, you follow me, please, thank you very much. This corner street is of many coffee shop. The coffee shop is of many lassa. Katong is be famous because the most famous is Arjuna, Arjuna lassa. You know, Arjuna? Ah, no copy one. Here got many many Ajuna. Three Ajuna Lhasa at least. Here is got three. Ah, all Ajuna. They always fight. So you choose what you like. You like the Lhasa, it's a bit spicy. So you don't eat too much. You got coconut. Sometimes you are more uh, American country, you eat already is the Lao Sai. So must careful. Lao Sai, yes, you know what's Lao Sai? Oh, sorry. You know the stomach pin, then go to the toilet and bruh. <laughs> Lao Sai. Yes, Doria. Doria, you know stomach Doria? Uh, that one, see dollar, see dollar, uh, uh, MC. Yes. So, no, you eat no chili, you scared chili, don't eat the chili, okay? Eat the chili really with Lao Sai. You learn new word from me, from, from Nuda, eh? Uh? Nuda teach you. You go back to your country, you tell your friend, uh, don't Lao Sai. Ah, good word. So we eat the lasa here. They always fighting. Every year the newspaper like to write the lasa war, because in Singapore no war. Ah, we is very peaceful country. Ah, uniquely peaceful. Ah, so they like to write the lasa war. Every year the newspaper say is which is originals. They don't know. And also if la lucky sometimes got the TV crew come and uh, filming. The TV show here many TV show filming. It's all the food show of the Singapore. They have the the uh, my favorite food show, the very good to eat show. The last time was in this place. Now moved to another place eating show, and the my favorite of the celebrity show eating show. So all like to come this Lhasa because it's famous of many Jorino. And the uh, filming and many award. Now you see the Lhasa shop, the award no place put. So that's why they s very sian, you know sian, boring. They very boring. So they don't put the picture really. It's too famous. 
the reporter come and the TV come, they say no thank you, no more film. Uh, thank you very much. So this is Lasa. You follow me. Later we come back. You want to eat the lunch, Mr. Miyaki? We yes. will. We will come back here. It's the Lasa. Can we eat now? No, no, no. I bring you other place. Follow me, please. Follow me. Follow umbrella. Uh, excuse mm -hmm. me. Sorry. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Okay. Now uh, we come. This place is uh, is called health center. Uh, it's not for eating. Uh, I, I. It's not for your health. Uh, health center in Singapore is not for your health. It's for your center. Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, no. It's uh, no. Don't go in. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't don't. Hello. Uh, come out. Come out. Uh, sorry, don't go in, okay? Uh, listen, Nuda, this is, I know it's got fascia, it's, they say got the fascia, it's fascia for men, yes, not for women. No woman, it's, they use the cream rub other place, not rub face, ma'am. It's for men. Uh, don't go in, not for you. Huh? Health center is not healthy for women. Okay. Uh, also, you notice uh, also many of the of the pub uh, next door a lot of drinking and the singing, the lousy singing. <laughs> Sometimes people drink many many, they sing lao lao. So this is a lot of this worker in the health center and the uh, pub is come from overseas. You understand overseas? Yes, uh, foreigner talent. In Singapore, we call foreigner talent. Come from many different country, uh, from around here. Uh, it's come from Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, uh, Philippines, and Lao. Yes, Lao. Uh, you know Lao, huh? You you go Lao before? Well, very good. Uh, so uh, recently also got many come from China. So they come here, they wear tight tight clothing, uh, the clothes, the, the dress tight tight, and uh, short short, and uh, come here work part time two week, then go home. Then come back again, different name. <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, they come here, it's the foreigner talent. Uh, uh, some people like them, some people don't like them. Uh, like the local. Uh, the local, like the Mr. Miyaki, Japanese local. Yeah. If you like special, you like to go this tour, uh, it's the, uh, our special uh, fast horse bus and tour company. One day, find like special optional tour. Let me know later at the hotel or the man you like. I will do for you, arrange for you to enjoy this special tour. Okay? Thank you very much. Come with me, come with me. Now I bring you this place here. It's uh, uh, called a lunch shop. Yes. It's computer shop. You see many, many computer. Uh, one dollar. It's very cheap. One hour, one dollar. Anyone here need to check email? Check email? Yahoo? Hotmail? No? Uh, very cheap. Heaven and Hell is one of the famous. Yes? It's called Heaven and Hell. Uh, inside, many people is checking email and playing the game. LAN game. Young people in Singapore, the boy especially, like to play their LAN. Yes. They're shooting at the LAN. Yes, LAN game. Uh. So, at night, daytime, we end, su 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 Yeah, computer. So, this is a lunch shop. Okay, follow me now, follow me. Okay, uh, Katong, uh, I tell you, is part of this Marine Play. Marine Play? Uh, Marine Play. It is um, the very famous uh, place because Marine Play is the owned by the minister, is belong to the Singapore minister senior. Sorry, miss? What is the minister senior? Oh, it's the... Uh, when your prime minister, you know do already? You last time is prime minister? In Singapore, you become the minister senior. And if you last time, last time, is the minister, prime minister, you is called the minister mentor. Sorry? No, no, not mentor. Mentor is the cigarette. No, no, not the mentor hospital. No. Men to to is the help people minister is our famous Lee Kuan Yew and uh, that is the minister mentor the M E N T S O R thank you so uh, here is the minister is the Go Sa Tong 
Go Chotong is the minister senior. He is very famous uh, because he is tall man. Tall, tall, tall man, not like normal Asian, the short man like Mr. Miyagi. Huh? Uh, ben Miyagi. Yeah, he tall, tall man. So he not minister mentor, he minister tall man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, he, he's very famous uh, uh, minister of the money play. Uh, so uh, we, we, we find here very nice, everything very nice. The history of the Katong name, why this place called the Katong? Uh, you know what's the reason called Katong? Mr. Miyagi, you know? Uh, actually, no. Oh, you don't know. Konnichiwa, arigato. Uh, I tell you, it's because all the building here is called Katong. That's why, in the end, they say, let's call this road Katong. As you see, got the Katong Mall, Katong Village, Katong Shopping Center, Katong Roxy. No, that's, that's Roxy Square. Not Katong, there's, there's only one Roxy. So, more Katong, so they call Katong Road. That's the reason of the Katong. And uh, uh, I will take you to this other place, very famous here. Uh, ma many of them eat like the food called the pa Prenanakan. You know? Prenanakan? Prenanakan. Lanonia, Baba, you know? It's half the Chinese, half the Mare, the food. It's from the people last time, the Chinese people marry the Mare people, they gather together. Uh, call the Brandon Nakan. You drop something, miss? I think you drop your cell phone. Cell, cell, mobile, mobile. Uh, don't forget to pick it up. Later, people still ready. Use your phone, call the other country, like the Vien Vietnam. <laughs> uh, don't forget to pick up. Uh. Okay, so uh, this is the Palaka food, uh, also very spicy. Uh, don't forget. Uh, if you cannot take the spicy food, don't don't try the the chili. Uh, so now before we we, we go and eat, uh, any other question? No. Okay. So we come back later. I give you an hour. Uh, I take you uh, a, another place at the Parkway Parade. Uh, we go shopping at this famous big shopping center called Parkway Parade. We meet one hour later. Look for my fast horse bus and tour company umbrella. Huh? Thank you very much. Huh? See you all later. Uh, I will be at the health center this place here. Just call the noodle. Look for noodle, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, see you all very much later. Bye bye. Okay. Call me, yeah? Lost, call me. Thank you. Okay. Yes, me? Yeah. Yes, and I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we enjoyed putting it together. Yeah, man. Uh, it was uh, a lot of fun. And I think Noodle, Chia, our favorite, everyone's favorite uh, tour guide and... And his company, the Fast Horse Bus and Tour Company. Will be back mm. uh, with more wonders of Singapore. Yeah, fetching you around Singapore and showing you all the delights of Singapore. Delights, man. Mm. Like Uni the health Uniquely centers. delights. Uniquely li delights. delights. Singapore, you remember, Singapore is very uniquely. Delights. Just as this podcast is, which is... Sponsored by Okamoto Condoms, the number one selling condoms in Japan. Available at all major retailers like 7-Eleven, Watson's, Cheers, Guardian, FairPrice, Cold Storage, Giant, Kafu, Shop and Safe, and NHG Pharmacies. And Katong. In Katong, Kobe? God, I've seen it in some places. Have yeah, I? Yeah. Hmm. It's uh, quite a ubiquitous condom, you know. Well, anyway. Yeah, just like laksa. Hmm. Original huh? Original Yeah oh, Three different types of original So anyway See you next show Yes This is Mr. Brown Saying goodbye and Bye also The Mr. Brown Show Is a production of MrBrown.com And Miyagi.exe <laughs> <laughs>